everybody. Welcome to Operation Football. I'm Andy Kendi. Semifinal Friday, our monster matchup, Bellevue West, Westside. The last two teams these two teams met was two years ago in Lincoln when the T-Birds won a state title. And it was also the last time Westside lost a football game. How about tonight? Have we seen this movie before? KETV News Watch 7's Matt Foster is live at Phelps Field. Hey, Matt. Andy, we've seen that movie before, but the sequel was much different than the original. This game, one of the most anticipated games of the season between Bellevue West and Westside, and the two put on a show at Phelps Field with a spot in the state championship on the line. Now this game, very much a tale of two halves. Opening drive for Bellevue West, fourth and goal, and LJ Richardson carries it in for six, six nothing T-Birds. Later in the second, West up 13-3, and they show off the air raid. Luke Johansson hits Mike O'Reilly Ducker in stride. War Eagle, 82 yards to the house for number 88 because he's got reservations for six. 20 to three T-Birds. Back come the Warriors. Anthony Rezac gonna hit Carter Hogan who breaks the tackle and scampers in from 46 to make it a 20-10 game at half. Westside cut it to a three point deficit after the third. First play of the fourth, it's Rezac to Rezac. Anthony to older brother Dom, spins out of a tackle, and the Warriors take their first lead, 24-20. 28 unanswered from Westside, made it a 31-20 game. T-Birds trying to get back into it on a trick play. Somehow, the ball ends up in Davon Hall's hands to make it 31-26, but Rezac would deliver the dagger on the ensuing drive, finds Grant Guyot for six, and Westside is heading to Memorial 41-26, the final. Yeah, it means everything, right? It's just another game, and, but these guys are creating an identity of their own. It's a 221 team. It's not about last or the year before. It's about these guys now. We're going down and giving our best shot to win, win again. We didn't believe there was any doubt. Other people did. We were the only people, only, only people in the state that thought we could win this game. We're in this school, in this program, around this community, and we did it. Westside with a chance now to defend their state title in a few weeks in Memorial Stadium and a chance to cap a perfect season in Lincoln. Reporting live at Phelps Field, Matt Foster, KETV Newswatch 7 Sports. Thank you, Matt. Other semifinal in Class A. Cinderella Omaha North taking on Gretna. The clock strikes midnight on the Vikings. Gretna's Mick Huber scores from eight yards out. And it's 7-0 Dragons. Then it's quarterback Zane Flores. Keep it himself, two yards, touchdown. 14 nothing Dragons. And boy, did Gretna play well defensively. Mason Goldman, nowhere to run there. The big sack. And then Zane Flores, a swing pass to TJ Silliman. 27 yards. And it's 21 nothing Gretna. And then the dagger, Flores to Braden Cheney for the touchdown. For 17 yards, Gretna earns its first trip to the state championship game. They shut out Omaha North 34 0. As the season has gone, we, we, we've gone on, we've learned a lot about our, our, ourselves and, and uh, you know, just started to hit our stride and our kids just came ready to play and, and uh, I'm extremely proud of them and, and, uh, and this staff. You know, it's, it's just like words can't describe how, much, how proud I am. So, Gretna and Westside for the Class A championship. These two teams did not play during the regular season. They will play a week from Tuesday for all the marbles in Lincoln. Let's go to Class B. Scott, Aurora. Out in Aurora. It looks dark and it looks cold. Scott down a touchdown. They score the next 10. Caden Becker, quarterback keeper. Skyhawks up 10-7 at the half. Aurora then pulled off some fourth quarter magic. First, Carlos Colazzo hustles into the end zone, his second score of the game. Huskies, though, trailed 17 14. Scuts up three, but Drew Canoes a couple plays later to Preston Raymakers, and the Huskies knock off Scut 21 17, your final. So, we're giving something away here. We haven't shown you Bennington yet. We're going to get back to that one. But this is the matchup for the championship. It's Bennington and Aurora in the Class B final a week from Monday in Lincoln. Class C1, P1, 
Pierce going back to the championship game. Columbus Lakeview earns a spot in the finals. Their first time in 31 years. The Vikings will also look for its first state crown. Class C2, a rematch of last year's final. Ord and Bergen. Bergen getting on the board first. Koa McIntyre throws the ball to Cade McIntyre. Outstanding. 7-0 Bergen. Now moving ahead to the third. Knights up 13-0. And watch this. The strip sack. And they make it count. A couple plays later, McIntyre airing it out to Lucas Pross. 42 yards. Bergen headed to Memorial Stadium. They shut out Ord 20 to nothing. Norfolk Catholic beats Milver Clatonia. So it's the Knights of the Knights in the C2 final a week from Tuesday. Class D1, Howells Dodge moving on. Jaguars beat Burwell 56-18. They'll play Cross County a week from Monday. Class D2, Sandhills Thedford knocks off Elgin Pope John. Kennesaw eliminates BDS. So again, the state finals for classes D1, D2, and B a week from Monday. Classes C1, C2, and Class A a week from Tuesday at Memorial Stadium.